Running in circles at the speed of how unimpressed Link is. Got places to be, gotta go outside from the sky. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Visually Blind. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck is this place? Wow, this is the complete opposite of how the other places look on this island. That's weird. Is it like just a weird sandstorm all of a sudden? That sounds really strange. Uh, in the last episode, we made it to Dragon Roost Island. We departed from freaking um, Windfall Islands. And we heard that they're having a lot of troubling issues here at the Dragon Roost. But um, the chieftain here that we met wants us to talk to his son. What? Oh, I thought I thought it said Siddle. Okay. Oh, I thought it was giving me the option to interact with his totem pole. I was like, that is very weird. All right, we talked to that guy before. What's this guy say? Hey, I know you. Yeah. You're the adventure guy, sailing from island to island. Action! Excitement, right? So, with all the adventure you do, do you happen to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she won water bottles things for a long time. And actually, I kind of promised I'd send her one to her. <laughs> so, that's not uh, obvious asking for me to do a side quest or anything? No, definitely not. Okay, so, golden, golden feathers. We'll get more into that later. You can find them around the world. But it's kind of weird because the best place I found to get them is actually in this world, or in this, on this island. So, that's a little bit weird. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not quite an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, take this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this to Prince directly to Prince Kamali. Yay! You accepted the father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you're, since you just, since you just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry the letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag and yeah, use it like every other item. Wait. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. Meet me with Prince Kamali. Please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Link. Look, she has, she's blushing. She thinks I'm cute. She is pretty adorable, though. That's a pretty common opinion, though. I have a small favorite I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance to Dragon Roost Island? Dragon Roost Cavern later? Good lord. I'll explain everything then. <laughs> Link's like. Link's like. Hubba hubba! <laughs> uh, ow, what's in here? Let's take a look at the. No, shut up, Chris. Holy crap, this place is a freaking disaster. So, whoa, is that lava? Holy crap. I guess this is like the upper view of this place. I'm trying to see the symbol of that flag. Whoa, the wind's like going all over the place. This place is really crazy. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. Hmm. I'm talking a lot about the pond being dried up. That's like a third person to say that. Can we ex Wait, what is this? No. I kind of vaguely remember being able to like open this cabinet. No, I guess not. Okay, wait, what's that symbol up there? Oh, that's just a very scrunched down version of the symbol on the floor outside. That's funny. Alright, well, was I, oops, I already, yeah, I already talked to this guy. Wait, did I talk to this guy? Is there enough? Or is there a, like a second one or some crap? Oh, there is multiple ones. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's go here. I just want to explore all the, the ways we could go before we do too much else here. Hmm. What do we have to say? Every year, the Rito sponsor a Birdman contest the island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year with the current situation on the island. No time to waste. If you've been so busy with the Great Valu, we're running short on delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. Well, back to work. Alright, bye, guy. See, I thought this guy kind of um, talked about something else here. But apparently he doesn't. What's that? There's a stone over there. <gasps> and there's a sunbird offspring over there. It's like, ah! You caught me! Yeah. <laughs> that face he made was perfect. I love that. Oh, that was great. Um, yeah, there's not much we can do out here right now. And by the way, what I just pointed out with the telescope, 
that is a very well i was gonna say very important but it's it's not i just think a side thing you could do that i had no idea you could do for the longest time and i was so amazed when i figured it out all by myself we used to have such nice breezes blowing for, through here now the air is crazy it's uh, a positive strange winds are a result of the wind god's anger see there's an important shrine below here that got broken and now we're paying the price what cursed luck really is that the shrine down there the shrine that i've been told multiple times i could go to but i haven't I have refused, have refused to go to. Yeah, there's more stuff over there, but I think that's a bigger jump than we can make. We're just gonna come back to there later when we have other means of being able to get up there and when we'll actually have a purpose. Well now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Mm hmm. You wouldn't be here in, in response to her posting some part-time help, would you? Now, I actually talked about this Two episodes ago, I think, where we were in the cafe and there was a thing asking for a want. It was it was a wanted sign, asking for help, like a, a work help wanted. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Or a phrase, help wanted. Oh, excellent. That's good. But first, to see if you could use you or not, I need you to give me a small little test, just a small one. Now, you see on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw a letter onto that shelf. Real simple, easy. Yeah. Is that clear? Sure. Why not? Before time runs out, you have to short just 10 letters. Give it your best shot. Alright, so. It takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> oh no, I, I done guffed! Alright, well, we're already gonna break the 10 mark here. I'm kinda surprised I didn't make this kind of like a aim with your gamepad kind of game, but okay, apparently not. That's kind of weird to me, but. Yeah, look at that. We are definitely beating the 10 mark. <laughs> By definitely, I mean we already beat. Oops, I didn't want the super convoluted way to. Ah, oh, 20. That's it. I could have done better. 20 letters. Great, good, terrific. You pass. Okay, now you got one rupee for every two letters. So that comes to a grand total of 10 rupees. Am I right? Come back every time. I mean it. Anytime. Uh, the more letters you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a big deal for both of us. So I guess this might be a good way to make money. I kind of feel like it's not though. Hey, you ready for work? Yeah. And if you do this enough, you actually do get a prize out of it. You already send the rules. Yep. 20 more letters. All right. Oh, oh God. The bad way to start. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Not a good way to start, guys. No! I seem to memorize where each letter is. Which one goes. Oh, shit. Oh, good. I'm not going to get it. Wow. Oh, good Lord. Ah. Uh -huh. This button is so finicky. No! <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, let's try one more time. Uh, nine rupees. That was poopy. Yeah, the higher, the more I do, the more bigger salary I get. So yeah, let's, let's try this one more time. All right. There we go. Twenty-three. That's much better. That's 23 letters. Splendid. Super. Hmm, your salary is just one rupee per letter. So I'll pay 23 rupees. Don't buy any time. I mean it. The better you do, the higher. Yeah, I think that's. I think my wage will now increase. Need some work? Do this one more time. You can start 25 letters or more. Your salary will really jump. I mean it. Alright, get to work. Okay, concentration time. I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Because chances are, I will need to do that to be able to pay attention and concentrate and stuff. Let's go! Dang it, that's one off. Ah, uh, see, you you do kind of do this. You do kind of got to do this a lot based on luck. As in, it is really awesome when you get a whole bunch of letters out of the same in a row. That and uh, both the middle ones, those are really hard, a lot harder to hit than one of the four corners. Yes, I got 25. Oh, that was close. 25 letters! With a small exclamation mark. You have amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm su I'm stupefied. Incredulous. <laughs> we veterans do this all day, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. Got I've got a lot. I've got to give you more money. Got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 75 rupees. How's that sound? Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought you looked like the lad the chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. For all about you. Yes, I sure have. 
We've had a rough time, Link. I feel bad to make you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helper's just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice the next time you come by. Well, can I still help? I was, I thought... Link, be a pal. I'll give our helpers some pointers the next time you're around. Just Really? I can't do this anymore? I don't know where, help, I don't know where the helper is at. Hmm. And this is a, this room's kind of pointless. But I've always kind of been really interested in it just because it, it is so pointless. It's like, how often do you see that in games like this? I mean, yeah, I guess there is. I guess that's kind of silly to say because there's a lot of pointless rooms in games, isn't there? <laughs> but I just love, like, it's just kind of just kind of here for no reason. I mean, it's obviously a storage room with like, letters and stuff with all the pots and smashing and stuff. Kind of just wrecking this place. Like, oh, thanks, Link. You're the savior of the island. Smash. <laughs> uh, that's pretty great. Okay, so we have a freaking a lot of rupees now. Okay. With all that crap out of the way, jump down on the first floor again, and let's go to Prince Kamali's room once again. The very first entrance to this place is that. So it's right across is Prince Kamali's room. And go down all these epic stairs, the epic stairs of epicosity to this epic door with like a face on it with teeth in the middle. It's very strange. It's actually, I guess it's kind of an eagle design, I guess, or something. Oh man, what should I, what, what voice should I give this kid? He's, he's kind of a grumpy kid, so maybe I should give him a Squidward voice. Ooh, that looks important. Before I do this, what's with all these rubber ducky kind of things? They're not, they're not rubber, they're not duckies. <laughs> I don't know, they're just, they're just always kind of weirded me out. They're just so, just kind of there, you know. There's more in there, there's a little ball of yarn for some reason. Wow. I'm really jealous of this kid's room. <laughs> huh? Who are you supposed to be? Really? What you want from me, huh? I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, Squidward, Squidward. Okay, so we go to my items, open up my delivery bag. We're gonna add the freaking note. And we're gonna give it to him. Oh, oh, there we go. A letter from my father? <laughs> That's my Squidward laugh. Oh, sure, telling me to be right is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one that had to go through the horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from below. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in all those people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Velo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm down Velo? Pshh! <laughs> That's a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can't do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a beavis laugh there. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who could get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Velo, then I'll listen to anything you say. Anything? Well, that was kind of a pointless conversation, but I guess it's kind of there to set up things for later. Open the door, get on the float. These stairs always piss me off because you. Oh, oh, I didn't do it that time. Whenever you go to like roll to go faster, you would accidentally roll up them for some stupid reason. But okay, we're gonna go outside for a second to look for this guy that we are told is the new delivery guy or some crap. Let's see if we can find him. I mean, I didn't see him inside, so surely he might be down here. This is the side quest I was actually talking about. Is he not here? He's not here, is he? <sighs> I don't know where he is, guys. <laughs> See, in the last game, he was actually standing right here, wandering and being like, Where the heck do I go? I don't know where to go. I'm stuck. I don't know how to get up here, because these boxes were pushed in. Do I see a letter? Oh, good lord. Let's let's go get it. Right. Curiosity will kill the Chris. It better be an important letter. Uh, this is from Petra from Windfall Island. I will always and forever love the Zelda franchise, even if they're just putting out remakes. <laughs> True that. Although they are working on a new Zelda game, and... Holy crap, does it look freaking fantastic. It's gonna be a very long time that till it comes out. Well, actually not a very long time, I guess. It was predicted to be out in 2015 for a little while to be like a holiday release. But now apparently Miyamoto's being like, well, I don't think it's gonna come out. Actually, I don't think it was Miyamoto. I think it was the producer that I can't remember the name of. Yeah, but he's essentially like, um, yeah, we weren't ish. I don't know. What they initially said was... Uh, we found a lot more things we want to add to the game, but what a lot of people are taking that as we don't think we're going to be able to do all this work by the time it's supposed to come out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing. Alright, so I think Medley wanted to meet us here, didn't she? Oh, there she is right there! What are you doing here, Medley? A bit dangerous here for you. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing this 
bringing you in such a dangerous place. I had to. I would have asked if I didn't need help desperately. See this place? It used to be a lovely... It used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was so peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and the boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, that would explain all the boulders lying around the island. I've never like, connected that before. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how's Prince Kamali? No, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. Maybe partially to blame for the bad turn that Kamali, Prince Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was a great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. Now, don't put yourself down, Medley. I'm sure you are. You seem like to be a pretty great person. If only I'd possessed some sort of strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Slink, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I need, want to get to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but the ledge over there is so high. I'm trying to get some wind under my wings. I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Ooh. So, uh, girl, you come here often? Haha! <laughs> the face legend toss me! <laughs> the, at at the atmosphere currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Do me as hard as you can. Is that her? Is that a weird way of wanting? Oh, oh, we're literally picking her up. Great. Okay. Huh! I'm sorry, I messed up. <laughs> she had like a crazier eyes going. I'm, I'm fine. That, that bitch. I didn't hear what I say. Oh yeah. Oh, once, once more. Let the way. Toss away, please. <laughs> okay. So there's two conditions here. One where you stand, which is actually supposed to be this ledge right over here. Meh. We'll stand right on the top here. And you gotta watch for the direction of the wind. Wee! And just like that, there we go. We did it! Oh, thank you! I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but. Look, if anything happens to me, just please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. <gasps> We got a bottle of, uh, uh, what's her face, uh, uh, Medley's vagina juice. That was a stupid joke. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Alright, well. Of course we're not going to let her go by herself. So yeah, that's one of the first of many freaking bottles in the game, guys. Uh, let's throw it on the X. Oh yeah, I probably should have thrown a lot. That feels more comfortable. So, yeah! I mean, we just got a bottle, so let's make some use of it. You filled your bottle with water. Try for something that looks dry and a little withered. Have you seen anything like that yet? And by the way, look at the freaking bridge. How it's like covered in sand and getting buried. You know, if we waited here long enough, I'm sure this place would fill up with enough, enough dust and such that it would just, you know, we didn't have to worry about anything. But thank God this has become a very convenient ladder for me to climb. That would suck if I just kind of stuck down here forever. <laughs> All right. So, oh, these look dry and withered. Let's see if we can get as many as we can here. I got none. Perfect. Yay. Oh, I can't even just, can I backflip off this? I really, really, come on now. Okay. So this is where my OCD kind of kicks in a bit. My OCD-like tendency, I should say. Ow. I like how there's like, air venting up from the cracks in the ground as well. It's probably not a good thing. I mean, that we did see lava over there, and this is a giant mountain. Is this a volcano? This very well could be. Please work. Uh, yay! Okay, so this is really the only point in the game that isn't a big pain in the butt. That if you want to rejuvenate the life of all these flowers, this is the only chance you really get. And... I mean, you definitely don't have to. All you need is one bomb, because if you're not if you're not getting it yet, I mean, big giant rock bombs. I, I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just something about it. I've always done this, and I completely actually I didn't the first time I played this game, and I really regret it immediately after. So I'm like, oh, I really wanted to save all these flowers, not because of, like no the flowers. I feel so bad for them, but just because like it just feels so incomplete if I don't save them all. 
So I'm gonna cut till when they're all saved. So one second, guys. Yes, this is a really ridiculous, and there's no point to do this at all. But I'm gonna do it just to satisfy my own brain. All right, two laps later. Here we go. I feel so much better now. Like I said, completely unnecessary. But yeah, so throw this on and oh yeah, you gotta be careful. In fact, we're gonna try to time this better. This is another scary part when you're on hero mode. Uh, explode! Yeah. Oh, what? Come on, I thought that was perfect. There you go. I threw it a bit earlier. Now. Yeah, there we go. You break that rock and what a coincidence. The great and mighty balloon knocked the boulder right on to the source of the spring water for some reason. That's cool. It's like a geyser. It feels like, oh, I can see it smoking too. That's really cool. I'm guessing that's the hot water meeting like the cold air or something. Although it'd be really, it'd be even cooler if the if the spring like going up, it like it caused the entire spring to start um, steaming up. That'd be that'd look really freaking cool. Um, oh, is that not gonna happen in this game? What? One little really cool detail in the original game is all this dust and stuff would actually sit in the water. It would settle onto the water and it would just kind of float there. I wonder why it's not there. That's kind of lame. Why would they take that out? Especially with the you know, like more powerful game. Anyways, yep, so we're gonna be following Medley. Into wherever this is going. I guess she just flew over this. Well, I really don't wanna destroy these like ancient looking relics, but let's destroy these ancient looking relics for our own personal gain. So yeah, blow up the pots. <laughs> and as you would imagine. Huh. Cause the statues to fall over and yay! Let's head inside. Dragon Roost Cavern, guys. Here we go. The first real temple of the game. This is where the game really starts to kick up a notch. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and the next one, we'll start to explore Dragon Roost Cavern. I'm really scared because this is where the hero mode thing really will probably start to kick my butt a little bit. Especially with going into this place with one heart. <laughs> That's not good. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye!